My Canon 7D can shoot great quality video, but without an image stabilizer, handheld video can be pretty shaky. The Shaker is a freeware app, which can dramatically reduce shaky video. I shot the video on the left handheld, and the video on the right is after processing with the Shaker. The following tutorial demonstrates how I process my 7D video with the Shaker. I hope you find it useful. The Shaker is a plugin for Virtual Dub. Virtual Dub is a video processing program, and both Virtual Dub and D Shaker are free. After you install Virtual Dub and the D Shaker plugin, you can find a great short guide on this process on the D Shaker's website. Step 1 says to open the video in Virtual Dub, but if your video is an MOV file like mine from a Canon 7D, then you might get an error like this. The way I get around this error is to convert my video to another format. I like to use Sony Vegas to convert my MOV file to an AVI. You could write an uncompressed AVI, but the file would be impractically large, so it's necessary to recompress it. But I don't want to lose image quality, so we need to use a lossless codec. I like using the Logarith codec because it's compatible with many applications like Sony Vegas, Adobe After Effects, Virtual Dub, and MeGUI. If you use Sony Vegas, make sure your project properties match your video. I like to use this icon to mimic the properties of the input video. Now I render my video as an AVI using the Logarith codec. I time lapse the rendering so you don't have to wait. Virtual Dub can read a Logarith AVI. Now we can add the D Shaker filter under the video menu. The D Shaker filter is a two pass process. On pass one, set the rolling shutter value which matches your camera. I think my Canon 7D is close to about 75%. Step 4. Disable drop frames under the options menu. Now run a video analysis pass under the file menu. Again, I time lapse this to save some time. Open the DShaker filter again and set pass 2. In order for DShaker to work, it must crop the video slightly to compensate for movement. There are several cropping options, but I recommend adaptive zoom full. Before I render the final result, I need to set the output video compression under the video menu. Again, I choose the logarith codec. Check 
just uh, going to save my video to my desktop and give it a friendly name. Both Sony Vegas and After Effects can also be used to stabilize your video. But I believe DeShaker gives the best results, it's free, and it has the most flexibility and feature set. And here's the final DeShaker video result. Check out more of my projects and videos at panofish.net.